If you want to see how my hair went from this to this, then make sure you stay tuned. Okay guys, so jumping straight in, this is my natural hair in all its glory. I big chopped in December of 2017, quite late in December 2017, pretty much 20, 2018, but I haven't done anything to my hair since then, absolutely nothing to my hair, not a trim, nothing. But I do have a bad habit of picking my hair in the middle, so I'm just explaining that to Jennifer who is the stylist today, and she basically told me that this silk press was going to be a one-off because my hair is quite damaged, but yeah. So a little background on my hair, as I said, I big chopped in 2017. My hair is low porosity, meaning that it's quite hard to retain moisture. Um, the type of hair that I have is 4C. Here's a closer look at my curls, but you probably get a better look when my hair is wet. So let's get to the washing process. Jennifer is gonna start with a clarifying shampoo. What a clarifying shampoo basically does is strip the hair of any buildup, any dirt. Obviously, I've been having my hair in cornrows for quite some time. So this will lift off any dirt from my scalp from having that hairstyle for such a long time. Then we're going to go in with the Olaplex number four. I've never, ever, ever tried Olaplex, Olaplex products before. But after having this procedure done, honestly, I can honestly see the hype. It's so freaking good. My hair felt so amazing. Jennifer's just going to wash through my hair with that i don't know about you guys but i absolutely love having my hair professionally washed it feels so freaking amazing so once that's done we're going to go to the next step which is the olaplex number two this is basically like a treatment jennifer's going to apply that all over the strands of my hair one thing that I've learned from having this procedure done is that you don't need that much products. A capful should be enough. So she's literally just spreading this evenly onto my head, making sure to part each um, section and spread that product evenly so each strand gets a bit of that goodness. So yeah, you guys can probably see the curls a little bit better now that my hair is wet. So I have quite tightly curled hair, 4C, which is basically really, really coily hair. So yeah, I really love it to be honest. I love my natural hair. I'm so glad that I went natural. It was one of the best things I've done for my hair. So now um, Jennifer's just going to put the cap on so I can go under the dryer so that my hair can take in all that moisture. Like I said, my hair is low porosity. So, so going under the dryer is basically going to help the moisture really, really lock in to all my hair strands. So these little ear cuffs are basically to stop like the heat from my earrings hurting my ears. So that's just a nice little touch. You know, care about your clients and that. <laughs> So after I had that treatment rinsed out, this is what my hair is looking like. I wish you guys could feel it. It felt so soft and literally my scalp felt amazing. So after that, Jennifer's going to go in with a cap size amount of conditioner. This is the number five, I believe, of the Olaplex family. This is obviously just going to condition my hair, make it softer and prepare it for the next step. What I really loved about Jennifer's service is that she wasn't scared to tell me the truth about my hair. That being that obviously I mentioned I picked my hair in the middle and it caused a lot of damage. She basically encouraged me to look after my hair and to stay away from heat. So even though this is her job, she did say to me that this is a one-off silk press and did advise me that it's not best for my hair to keep getting my hair silk pressed. So I really, really appreciated her honesty and her expertise in that area. So yeah, she's gonna rinse that off. Like I said again, Getting your hair washed by a professional is the best thing ever. If you've never got it done, you need to get it done. It's so relaxing and so therapeutic. So this is going to act as a heat protectant. It's the Red Ken, uh, I can't remember what it's called, something snaps. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to act as a heat protectant just to prevent my hair from breakage or any further breakage when we are blow drying and straightening the hair. And don't mind me, I'm literally just eating away. This was also a perk of the service, came with snacks and you know, 
water and all sorts. So I was really happy about that. Definitely made it worth the price as well. So here Jennifer is using a round brush and a blow dryer with a nozzle on the end. So the whole point of the nozzle is to concentrate the heat on one area, which makes it a lot easier for the hair to straighten out a lot quicker. The round brush also stretches the hair and also aids in it getting straighter quicker. So she does alternate between a bigger round brush and a smaller round brush, but they both pretty much do the same job. Stretch the hair and concentrate the heat throughout the shaft of the hair as well as the roots of the hair. And concentrating the heat on the roots is also going to give you that relaxed feeling because obviously the curls are going to be a lot looser in that area and your hair won't feel as um, weighed down. It will feel quite light and airy and fairy without the chemical damage. So as I mentioned earlier, the middle of my head is quite thin as I tend to pull on this area. I don't know why I do it. It's just a really, really bad habit. So this is the area that I really, really need to work on in the future. It needs a lot of moisture. It needs a lot of um, TLC. So if you notice that this part of my hair is, you know, limp and dead, that's because I literally have pulled the heck out of it and I continue to do so. So I need to stop doing that. I don't know if anybody else like pulls their hair out, but I don't know why it's so fun. I just love doing it, but I need to stop. <laughs> so here we're just deciding what part that I want. I decided to go for a side part as I feel like it complements my face a lot better. Jennifer's just gonna start from the back and straighten her way up. The nape of my head, Chile, Wu Chile. That's that's all I can say. <laughs> Again, I need to, you know, concentrate on that area and give it loads of moisture and make sure I'm wrapping down with a silk scarf. So yeah, this is what a few passes looks like from the straighteners. My hair is super silky. Like wow, I couldn't believe like how nice it looked from the get go. I apologize about the camera angle on this part of the video, but I don't know why the camera was literally focusing on everything else apart from my head. <laughs> But Jennifer is basically just continuing that process, straightening from the back and working her way up. And after she has done all of that, this is what my hair is looking like. Super, super, duper shiny, super free. The movement is amazing. So silky, so soft, guys. I can't even explain to you how soft my hair was. It was just like, oh, it felt so good. But you guys can see those splits ends like the split ends are literally screaming for a cut yeah we're gonna go ahead and do that a little bit later but this is just another angle of the length of my hair i was actually quite impressed by it i didn't really think that my hair grew that much so yeah all that i need to work on now is just getting the life back in it and the body back in it Okay, it's time to cut those straight ends. Jennifer's just going in with her shears and snipping off the split ends, which was so needed because honestly, I couldn't stand the look of them. They were just horrible. And I'm one of those people that I genuinely would prefer healthy hair as opposed to having length. Like imagine having super long hair and you're just walking around with split ends. That's literally not cute. <laughs> It's just a mess so i was really really happy to have the ends cut i don't mind cutting my hair because i feel like my hair works better when i have it cut i've had so many different haircuts i've had pixie cuts yeah i've shaved my hair like i i will literally leave videos of like how my hair like the journey of my hair from the pixie cuts to the one side shaved and all sorts but yeah i have faith in my hair that it will grow back and it will grow back a lot more healthy so yeah always happy to get it cut So snip, 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 snippity, snip. Look at that shine, guys. Look at the body. Look at the movement. Look at the gloss. Look at the sheen. Oh, just amazing. Look at everything. It's just everything for me. So yeah, Jennifer's just gonna continue to give that a good snip. Cut off those dead, horrible ends. Here's another slow-mo for ya. Go on, get into it. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm actually so dumb. Okay, next. 
so Jennifer is going to snip a little bit from the front as well because that area needs some TLC as well. I honestly couldn't believe how soft my hair was. I literally could not stop touching it. It felt so soft. Okay, so now it's time to give the hair some body yaddy yaddy with some curlers. So Jennifer's just gonna bump the ends a little bit so my hair looks more alive. Yeah, just give it some volume, give it some oomph. Um, she's starting from the back and working her way towards the top as usual. So whilst Jennifer's doing that, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the service. I've always known about Jennifer, but she's recently started doing silk presses and her Instagram honestly hooked me. I was like, nah, I need to get my hair done by her ASAP Rocky. Okay. So I messaged her and she kindly replied and she also kindly gave me a 30% discount. So normally her silk presses are 180 if you're new to her, but I'll, obviously I'll leave her links below so you can check all her different prices but with my discount i paid 120 and when i tell you this was worth every single penny literally she has the most professional environment everything is clean and sanitized no dirty smelling towels <laughs> no hair on the floor she cleans as she goes everything was just really really nice um, nicely put together she also offers a consultation as i mentioned at the beginning as well as drinks and snacks so that's always a plus but um all in all i just felt really really comfortable as you guys can see i'm literally having a right chin wag so i just felt really comfortable really free really at home and i was just super happy with the service that i received So here is my hair, it's coming together. Look at that bounce, honey. Look at that shine. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna finish up the top. Give that a really, really nice bump. Yeah, there's a reason why Jennifer has five stars on Booksy. Literally, she does the damn thing. She looks after your hair and she looks after you. And she also takes care in her profession and her business, which I love. So guys, this was me when I was done. I was so happy with the results, super excited. As you guys can, you guys can see, like I'm so like chuffed with how it looks. I was super, super happy with the results. So lastly, Jennifer's just gonna give it a spray of some sheen and then I'm all done. Can you believe that I went from this to this like sis oh my goodness look at the movement look at the movement you can literally see in my face how happy i am with my hair <laughs> couldn't ask for a better service it was amazing girls if you're looking for somebody to do a silk press in london based in hackney then definitely hit up jennifer her work literally speaks for itself and her service is immaculate. So thank you so much to Jennifer for allowing me to film the process. And yeah, I'll leave all her details below so you guys can book her up. Don't book her up too much because I want my service too. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely subscribe if you did and leave a comment down below and tell me if you've got a silk press before and tell me how your process went. Again, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of the clips. Bye guys. Mwah.